Hello and welcome to Shaha Computer. This is the fourth part of this tutorial series on automated data roster in Google Sheet. In this tutorial, we will start learning about the formulas to generate legends in the master sheet and also create the report of this data roster. In the previous videos, I have shown the demo of this template and we learned about the setting sheets and also creating the structure of the master sheet. If you have not seen those videos, the link is provided below in the description box. If you want to support me, you can purchase this template. The link is provided below. So, without wasting any more time, let's begin this tutorial. So now, we will put here a formula to generate the roster. So first, select here D1. So if I put here D1, here it will be D1. And else, if it is blank, then it will be, it will be blank. So, it will be blank in three cases. If this cell is blank or this cell is blank or this cell is blank, then it will be blank. So, for that, type here equal to if or this cell, here column should be locked. So, $B8 equal to blank, comma, this cell, here also column should be locked. Okay equal to blank comma this cell here a row should be locked so okay equal to blank packet close then it will be blank comma I will put here blank for now I will add the rest of the formula here bracket close enter so now here I am getting blank so which one is blank let's see this one is not blank this one is not blank this one is not blank so here i will put here one so you can get here the result that means all the three is even that's why if i delete this one you can see it is now blank and also if i drag this formula till here is showing the number but if i put here february you can see now these are blank. Still here is formula but it is blank. So this is the first step. Now the second step. Second step is if this cell is blank then we will get this value. So if this cell is blank that is confirming that this is the first row. If this is first row this cell will be always blank. So, in that case, this, will, this cell will be the value of this cell. So, if this cell is blank, equal to blank, then this cell. Otherwise, for now, we will put 1, bracket close, enter. So, we are getting D1. And now, you can see, for the rest, we are getting 1. So, if this cell is not blank, that means in this case, this cell is not blank. So if this cell is not blank, we we'll get the value after D1, what we have D2 in the setting sheet. So here you can see after D1, we have D2. So the help of index match function, we we'll get this value. So if it is false, then we will use index formula and our result will be, first we'll have a reference for the index is s underscore s underscore legends sorry shift legends shift legends comma we'll find the serial number of d1 that is the previous shift so we'll use match function match this cell comma we'll search within the s legend so s underscore shift legends comma zero bracket close for match bracket close for index so now if i drag you can see it's getting error so let's see where we have the mistake okay the problem is this is a dynamic range that is created by this cell so this is a text so we have to use the indirect function here so type here indirect indirect and here bracket close 
and here also indirect indirect bracket open and here bracket close now enter we are getting d1 so we will get the value after that so here in this formula we will add plus 1 match here row plus 1 so we are getting d2 now if I drag in this way you can see we are getting the value but after O2 we are getting error because actually the value is up to 8 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is 7 but here we are getting 8 you can see here match this one is giving 8 so it should not be 8 so for that we have to give here another condition that is indirect okay index so in here we will use if this value is greater than count a indirect bracket open s underscore shift legends bracket close comma sorry bracket close bracket close so it is the, uh, my first logic if the value of this is greater than count a of shift legend number of shift in shift legends then it should be 1 comma the serial number should be 1 else this match now you can see enter now drag here you can see after O2 we got D1 then D2 in this way now drag here till the last now you can see D1 D2 A1 A2 Knight O1 O2 again D1 D2 now drag this formula till 107 now it's done now as soon as you put here D2 you can see D2 A1 A2 N O1, O2 in this way. Now we will count the total number of days here. For day shift we will count the D1, D2 in this way. So we will count the first character only. So for that we have to use the formula in different way. Type equal to count if select the range to here then comma within quotation d star quotation close bracket close enter so getting here 10 similarly for afternoon night shift all this so equal to select this copy and paste it here and type here a now paste it here instead of D it should be N and here it should be O done and when we will add the fifth shift similarly we will do this for this also now select this drag tail 107 done so here we don't need these values for blank cells so here we will put if this cell equal to blank then blank enter similarly you will add all this copy paste then paste sorry here 
container. Okay, done. Now drag this till the end. Okay, done. Now here we will add for day shift. So similarly, you have to do this here also. Equal to if sorry, equal to count if select the range comma within position D star position close back close enter. So we got to here in this way we have to do it for all the cells. So here the range should be locked. So here row should be locked, column should only be locked. So here row is locked, column is not locked. Now copy this, enter, paste, here it should be afternoon and paste, it should be night, then it should be off and for the last it will give it now black. Now drag this till here this ei okay to ei so here also calculator's calculation is done now you can select all this and give a border get done and here center and middle okay done you can also give a color to the cells okay now we will give a conditional formatting for these cells so select this one okay now to give your conditional formatting so go to format conditional formatting and here use custom formula is and type here equal to left bracket open a first cell is e8 so e8 comma 1 bracket close equal to within quotation d if it is correct then we will give a color Use the color of your choice. Suppose here I am giving green. Now select and copy this formula. Use this formula again and again. Now add custom formula. Same formula. Only replace the D with A and give a color yellow. Okay. Now add another. Custom formula is here select N and let's give it blue. Done. Add another rule. Custom formula is select here off. You can give it as a red color. Okay. Done. So for the four ship, we have done. Now close this and we will use a border. So select all the cells again. Border, all border. Okay. Now one thing I have to check that is go to format, conditional formatting. The range is a7 okay done a7 okay range are okay okay fine now our main work is done you can see here it's working now one thing is left that is auto hiding the columns which are blank suppose we are taking here february so these two columns are blank and this is a blank so select format this is a blank column so we will avoid this column so 
these two cells don't have date so we have to hide this and we do not have data after 17 so we have to also hide this only one cell should be unhidden when we will type here the next cell will get unhidden so now we will create a google app script for this so we will cover this topic in the next tutorial and i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but if you have any problem please write to me in the comment section i will surely help you out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this video thanks for watching until the end see you soon in the next tutorial